the second half at Auburn with the turnovers? Start of the game, definitely. You know, uh, again, we that's all we've talked about all year, really. That's all, and we just continue to talk about it. And it's pretty much the same guys that continue to do it. And, you know, early in the game, we again, we were an inside-out team, and we put the ball in there and give them credit for knocking the ball loose some, which they shouldn't do. We're doing what we need to do. But uh, we fought back. and. Uh, in the first half, and they stretched it back out. We told our guys at halftime, we're, we're going to be fine. We'll come out and defend uh, a little bit better and, and just take care of the ball. And I think what the second half, we, we had two turnovers, scored 42 points. We haven't done that, that in a long time because you can't have 20 turnovers and expect to do something like that. But I didn't think defensively we were great tonight at all. And uh, give them credit, they hit some big shots, some deep shots, but it was the fouls where we were not doing our job on the defensive end, getting on the side of them. They were getting into it, and they do a good job of driving the ball and getting into your body and getting fouled. And uh, we just weren't good enough tonight defensively to win a game on the road. What did they do that made Santiago's life so hard offensively? Well, we told them that. We said, they're going to push you right. They're going to push you right. They're going to make it hard for you to get the ball. You know, we told them, don't fight it. Just go. And we kept telling them, to, he's good off the ball. He <coughs> needs to get off the ball more in the second half. We used him as a screener. And we got, he got us back in the game because they were so locked in on him when we Got the ball inside on those situations, and but again, he he continues to drive and lose the ball, and and uh, again, he, you can't you can't let, your point guard can't average five six turnovers a game. You can't, and you see him trying to do too much, but he's played enough now that he's got to he's got to trust his teammates and let those guys handle the ball. So, Mason Jones made one shot at your house, scored nine.